guys. So today, um, I will be guiding you on how uh, we submitted, me and my husband submitted the um, report of marriage dito sa, sa embassy of the Philippines and um, ano yung process, what are the requirements um, that you need to submit, um, magkano yung magagastos nyo um, for the whole process and the location and yes like mga mga suggestions or reminders um during your visit there sa embassy first of all these requirements you need to bring four copies of each requirement so the first one is port of marriage form um na kailangan nyo i um is submit. So, yung um, file in your document na kailangan yung i-fill is andun siya sa, la, sa website na I'll provide here. And, um, and I'll also put it down below just for you to copy that link and you can go through. Show you how now. Paano mag-fill. So, go to Uncle Google and then search report of marriage. Click the first one. Philippine Embassy UK and then go to the Department of Foreign Affairs and then verify that you are human Ooh. so go to report of marriage if you can't find it go to our services and download the both forms and then go click report of marriage then download so saved files and then after that you can now go to your downloads search new lang po so here you go first you need to fill the first part which is the upper part embassy of the philippines london uk So on the left hand side, you need to fill your husband's information and on the right hand side, that will be your information book. So your maiden name, yes, so yung name, your pagkadalaga before the marriage. So that's my first name, Sharon. And middle name, yeah. And mine. Date of birth. This is... Just a sample of the date of birth and same as mine. Sample lang po. Yung mga information na nilalagay namin dito is um, some of them are just samples. Kasi confidential, no? <laughs> and Make it po um, capital letters to be on the safe side. And then place of birth. Better see. London. Mine is Lete. <laughs> Lete. <laughs> Philippines. down single single yung civil status namin before marriage then his citizenship and then mine then if naturalized or not if not then na then mine is na as well then religion if wala silang religion na din pwede lang yan and then Protestant for me. And we go down to details of foreign marriage. This will be just a sample. 
Same format lang po ng date of birth. So, date of marriage, day, then month, and then the year. And then place of marriage. I'll, I put Chelsea Old Town Hall. And then UK. Then name of the two witnesses. This is a sample again. Diane Bourbon. And then name of the second one is Joanne Cordova. <laughs> Next will be the name of the officiating authority. And down will be his designation or his title. So whatever you put there, it should um, it should be the same as the marriage certificate. Details of ascendance atayo. Down is on the left hand left side. It will be the husband's um, father's name. Then on the right hand side, that would be your father's name. Then down will be the citizenship of the father. On the right hand side will be the wife's father. Filipino. Next, mother's maiden name. So, pangalan nila nung dalaga pa sila and mine's Rora Chicken Down citizenship for our moms Just print and four that's copies. done After that you your So you need you to print sign four copies and after that, you can both sign po. And then, um, kailangan nyo rin mag-provide ng marriage certificate and four copies of your passport. And then four copies of your husband's passport. And then four copies of your birth certificate. Once you have all those copies and ready na kayo um, to submit everything, First, before kayo pumunta sa embassy, you need to buy a special delivery envelope. Um, nung, la, nung bumila ko sa post office, you can buy this one in the post office. Um, the, I paid like 7 pounds. Also, I will um, show you here, in case wala kayong post office uh, na malapit sa inyong address, um, you can also go to a post office near the embassy. Ito po yung map, so you just need to follow the direction towards Rayman post office. You need to bring um, a mask with you. Masks or mask with you. Kasi hindi sila nagpo-provide ng mask. Um, and very strict sila um, in terms of wearing a mask. So kailangan yung mag-mask kasi kami hindi naman nila yung mask namin. And we didn't know that you need to wear a mask. So, if you have any questions, you can always let me know po. Um, and I'll be glad to answer your queries. Um, yes. So, I hope uh, clear yung mga nabigay ko na information. And God bless po sa lahat. Bye!